Since becoming president of the United States, Donald Trump has found numerous ways to profit off of the presidency. And as many people have pointed out, Donald Trump was the first person to ever come into the office of the presidency as a brand. His name, unfortunately, is a brand. And so it's very hard to disconnect the brand from the presidency. And that's why Donald Trump has been profiting off it since day one. And as one would expect, he has been sued multiple times by multiple different organizations for profiting off of the presidency. And guess who's footing those legal bills for him? It's not him, it's not his children, no, it's you, the US taxpayer. We are paying the salaries of no fewer than 10 Justice Department employees, salaries ranging from $133,000 to $185,000 a year, whose sole purpose is to fend off these lawsuits against Donald Trump and protect the profits of his business. These are career Justice Department employees who get paid with US tax dollars and their job is to protect Donald Trump and his business interests from all of the conflict of interest lawsuits that the president is currently facing. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally happen to believe that if a private citizen or not even private citizen, excuse me, if a United States citizen gets sued, it is the responsibility of that person to provide their own legal help. And if they cannot, then one will be appointed to them for, uh, uh, by the court. That's kind of how the constitution of the United States goes. You don't get to uh, shift those bills over to us taxpayers just because you don't feel like paying them or because you feel that as president, the justice department is your own personal little bank of lawyers that you can pull out to do your personal bidding whenever you feel the need to do so. That's not how this country works. Once again, we're in a situation where we're forced to remind people that this is not normal. We are paying over $1 million a year. If you take the minimum salary of 133,000 a year, multiply it by 10, more than a million dollars a year from us taxpayers to foot Donald Trump's legal bills. That's not a ton of money in the grand scheme of things. I mean, you can't go out there and give every teacher in this country a raise. You can't build a new bridge, but you could sure as hell maybe fund a few homeless shelters, maybe give health insurance to a couple of people, maybe do something that actually mattered with that money instead of trying to defend a millionaire or billionaire or whatever the hell he is from a few lawsuits because he keeps profiting off of this job that he currently has. Hopefully he will not have this job too much longer because I am absolutely sick and tired of seeing this man use this office to put more money in his pocket. And anytime any kind of legal problem uh, erupts for him, it's either the taxpayers or the Republican party that's forced to foot the bill. Donald Trump allegedly has enough money to pay for his own bills, but we know from history, he doesn't like to do that. However, in this particular instance, and really in every instance, Donald Trump needs to be paying these legal bills himself, or if he chooses, he could go with a court ordered uh, public defender or somebody to help fight off these charges. It is not my responsibility to pay his legal bills and it's not your responsibility to pay his legal bills. Yet that is exactly what's happening in this country today. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on ring of fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.